everyone. My name is Hector Mendoza. Here's my email address if you ever have a question about civility or Xactimate. So it's Hector Mendoza adjusting at yahoo.com. What we're going to create today is an octagon and civility. Also, I'm going to create a tray ceiling in the middle of a room. Basically, what it's going to look like is this right here. Okay. We're going to recreate those two and civility. You will go, you know, if you do this long enough, sooner or later, you're going to come up upon things like this. So, <clears throat> um, okay, so um, <clears throat> before I get started, here are a bunch of. Um, bunch of videos that I've posted on uh, YouTube the first few are Xactimate so it starts from here and so if you keep on going I'm, I'm strolling a little bit slow so that you can read what I am uh, got posted there it would take too long to read all this stuff now I have a separation here from here down are all civility um, videos okay and so the one we're doing right now is this one right here so let's get straight to it because it's going to take a while uh, <clears throat> so I'm just going to delete everything and I'll see how much I can explain at the end of uh, the calculations on this so uh, I'm going to try to get this this thing done in less than 20 minutes so let me hit the start button and let's get started okay so the first thing I want to do is get, uh, create a room. I'm just going to put OCT for octagon. I want to make this a little bit bigger here. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go my vertex mode. And I've already explained how to do all this stuff in all my other videos. So I'm just gonna, that's why I'm doing this real quick. So I want this to be like 135. Um, actually, no, I want this to be 115. And then the left hand side, I want it to be 110. Okay. So let's go 110. Uh, so that'll get me 70 degrees here, 65 degrees there. Well, if you add this and this together, it's 180. <clears throat> this and this equals 180. So <clears throat> uh, you can change this. Oops. Yeah, uh, you can change it to any size you want. Okay. So when you're there measuring, you'll get this measurement first. Or you can get the inside of your measurement of each wall inside what would be from the octagon. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, <clears throat> first thing you want to do is go to your ceiling editor. You want to turn this wall into a slope wall. On the first one, you, you want to get uh, the short wall you want to be about eight well eight or whatever you have there you know whatever walls you have I'm just going to turn this into eight and twelves okay okay so now we've got eight twelve <clears throat> that way we don't have to change every one of them I'm doing it all here one time and you don't have to go and edit eight different uh, rooms okay now I'm going to hit Control C, Control V. I'm going to rotate at 45 degree. Oops. I'm going to rotate at 45 degree angle. I'm going to hit uh, Control C, Control V. Rotate that guy at 45 degree angle. Uh, control C, Control V. Rotate at 45. Uh, control C, Control V. Rotate at 45. Con Control C, Control V, rotate at 45. Control C, Control V, rotate at 45. I think we got one more. No, two more after this one. No, one more. Control C, Control V, rotate at 45. Okay, now when I put this, whoops, when I put this right here, look what happens to the inside. It's going to create a room. Okay, and I do want a room there. Now on this one here, oct octagon. Okay. Okay. Now, but the inside room, 
I want this room not to be, uh, and I'll show you why. Look, so if I go in here, um, and let's go to the ceiling editor. See how it looks? Okay, so I wish there was commands here. <laughs> I want, in, in Xactimate, all I use is commands, and uh, it kind of throws me off. So Octagon, I'm going to turn that into a flat, okay? And with a 12 uh, foot ceiling. So let's go to ceiling editor. I'm going to go to flat and turn that into a 12. Hit OK. Go to the floor plan. OK, now, so <clears throat> so now let's view this on the ceiling editor. Perfect. OK, now. I'm going to go ahead and create the other one so that we can do a bunch of things all in one shot. Okay, so now we're going to create that other room and it doesn't matter the sizes, you know. So, okay, uh, I'm going to ask you for square because, and, and I'll show you why I, I do this. Okay, so on this one here, this one I want. Okay, I want a 45 degree angle up here. So uh, 45 from 180, see, 135. Okay, so let me see, 100, oops. Come on, what's going on here? Oh, this is not exactly, me. sorry about that. Uh, vertex. Okay, so. So you see it's 50, so I think it's 35. Let me see. Now they're 45. Good. I'm gonna move this out just oh just I keep on getting exactimate and uh similarity a little cross here. So let me see. 40 45 45. Something wrong. Oh Okay, 45, 45, 135, 135. Okay, that's and <clears throat> Okay, so I'm just going to change it to the size that I want to. Okay, you can change it any size you want at this point. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> same thing. I want to taper this up. So I'm going to click here, go to my ceiling editor. I got 14 minutes. We're doing pretty good time. Okay, we're going to turn this into a slope. Uh, this one here. We're going to go to eight feet and you know what on this one here we're going to go 14 feet so you can see that you can do different kind of sizes that's why i'm just throwing sizes out there okay now this one won't take long because uh okay so all we got to do is hit control c control v all, all i gotta do is just click on this thing one time bam okay go Control C, Control V, just hit that button one time. Control C, Control V, hit it one time, bam. Now in the middle, it's gonna create a room. So I know it's working. Okay, now, okay, so, oh, uh, the center room, uh, I need to uh, go to my ceiling editor. Uh, make that a flat roof. I think we went with eight, uh, 14 on the highest room on the other one. So let's just check before we start putting walls, deleting walls, windows, and doors. Okay, so I select everything, go to my ceiling editor, and perfect. Everything's looking good, right? Yes, sir. Okay, now. <clears throat> I'm going to delete all the walls all at one time. Be careful when you're selecting walls. And, and I'm going to make a mistake so you can see. Let's say I wanted, I, I was going to start selecting walls, right? If I select this first one, it didn't select my wall, right? I'm going to try this one here. It didn't select my wall because I'm selecting too close to those numbers. Okay, now, now. I'm going to select this wall, hold my control key, select this wall, select that wall, select this wall, 
this one, this one, this one, this one. You see, I'm staying away from any numbers so that I don't, because uh, then you have to restart selecting. You know, it's uh, not a good deal. Okay, while I'm have my control key, let's get rid of this walls down here. Okay. That way we can do it all in one swoop. Now I'm just going to get rid of all those walls by hitting this button. Okay. Next thing I want to do, I want to add windows in every exterior wall. So I'm going to hold my control key while I select every exterior wall. Okay. So what this will do. It will place a window dead center of each one of these walls if I just click here. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Those, those, uh, well, yeah, those were doors. Sorry about that. Start all over. But I still got, wow, well, wow, I still got 10 minutes. We're almost done here. But then I still got to explain some stuff. Uh, so we'll create a window. On each corner, services window. Okay. Uh, now I will create a door next to the walls, next to each uh, window on the north, south, and east, north, south, east, west of each uh, elevation. So I'm going to click on the north, no, south, north, south. East, east, west, west, and let's add a door. Okay, so select everything. I think I can just hit Control A, go to my ceiling editor, and let's see what we got. That's exactly how you do it. Okay, now I've got nine minutes. This is as perfect as you can get to doing an. Uh, an octagon. If somebody knows a better way, and, and let me explain what I'm talking about. Okay, so please email me and show me, because uh, I, I I would love to be able. I'm anal, and I like to make things perfect as perfect as I can. So let me show you what's going on that I don't like. And this all has to do with calculations. You see this little tick right here. That little tick, that's six inches. So if you get six inches times eight, six times eight, because there's eight walls, 48 times eight feet, eight, uh, eight feet walls, that's, okay, so. Oh, excuse me, inches, inches, excuse me. You're not losing a lot. Okay, okay. so six times eight equals 48 times uh, eight feet equals 384 inches, or square inches, divided by 12. 32 square, oh, you're not losing hardly anything. 32 square feet is nothing on a room this size, okay. So uh, I don't know why I worry so much about little things like this. So because of numbers, I had to, uh, you know, I had to get on, on a calculator. So let, let's, let's uh, control C, control V, and let's just wrote uh, Huh? Come on, dummy. Okay, so you know when 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 you're looking at numbers, if I go in here vertex, and add this number and this number, it's a hundred and eighty degrees. When I add those two, no matter how you move this thing around, you add this number and this number. It's 180 degrees. In symbility, 
when I am moving a wall this way, I can angle it only at five degrees at a time. Okay, like you see that there's 50. I'm going to snap to my first one, 60. I'm going to snap to the next one, 65. Snap to the next one. Okay, and there's no way. And if somebody knows that there's a, there's a different way, please let me know because, I, you know, like I said, I, I like to, things to be perfect. So because of that, I, I was having to go in and um, uh, change or tax. Uh, this one to 70 degrees, 110 degrees. This one I had to use 115, and this one I had to use 65. Now, in Xactimate, it's different, okay? In, in Xactimate, uh, so let's go to room, and I'm going to move this out a little bit. Uh, so in, in Xactimate, um, see, it'll do, uh, what are those decreases? Oh, 22.5 degrees. So every time you rotate and you use the, uh, the, the rotate, it rotates to 22.5 degrees. Not just the rotate, but whenever you snap from here to here, it's going to do 22.5 degrees. And then, um, uh, let's see. So then the next one will be 45 degrees, okay? So, and the thing with Xactimate, if I hold my shift key, if I, if I hold my shift key, look, I, it does constrain like this. You see how it's constraining? I can hold my shift key and move it any degree I want. So um, you see, like there's 130 degrees. Well, you can't do that in civility. And to make a perfect octagon, you you have to go in and um, let me see an octagon. You have to have um, let me see what is it? Yeah, 67.5 and 112. So see if I go here. Hundred and twelve point five there, right? Same thing here. If I hit hundred and twelve point five. Come on, what's going on here? Here, I need to move this out a little bit. That's why it's not letting me do that. Okay. Now see uh, hundred and twelve point five. Now and now you can change, you know, move this things any way you want. See those are perfect numbers three minutes okay so if I hit control C control V and I just hit tap tab it did it at a perfect 45 degree angle that you know it's every time it rotates when I hit that tab key it goes 22.5 22.5 which is a 45 degree angle and those numbers are perfect this way because I can do like 22.5 degrees with civility, it doesn't let me do that. Now, one thing about civility that it does let you do five at a time, but unfortunately, you need 22.5 degrees to make it perfect. That's why I made it basically like this. Look, uh, I went this way. And then I move this over this way. So when it rotates, all those numbers uh, mathematically fit each other. Because uh, if I use their, their uh, let me see, vertex, if I make those the same angles, like let's say six, uh, 70 would be the right, the closest angle that I would know. 70 and 70. And then 110 down here, hit control C, hit control V, and then let's say I, I rotate it minus 
uh, 45 degree angle you see look it doesn't fit because see right here you have to use 22.5 degrees and it just doesn't work one minute okay hope that I, I hope that explains everything uh, if you need a further explanation I, you know I, you got my email address so uh, that is how you do that and I man, I can't believe I did this in 20 minutes so remember this is what it looks like ceiling like I said if you got questions don't hesitate to call me um, and if you got any tricks look at all my videos if you got tricks that I don't know about please let me know because I, I love learning thank you for watching my video again my name is Hector Mendoza this is my email address and I help all kinds of adjusters I'm going to be posting a bunch of things on Word and Excel uh, I still got 42 seconds so look like for instance here um, let's uh, let's say I got some calculations so let's say that you wanted to know how many days or how many months or how old you are by the date okay so what's the okay so I was born in February 1960 and then today's date is uh, 12 31 2019 so I am uh, I am 718 months old. I am um, 3,123.57 weeks, and in days, um, oh, actually in days, I'm 2,000, ooh, 21,865 years a day so now I, I know okay what's important about it's not those dates when you work in as an adjuster there's going to be times that you have to know dates because they're going to want to know how old the house is they're not going to tell you you're going to have to figure it out yourself now this is and, and, and even days that sometimes you have 45 days you got 65 days you know so you could you know let's say uh, I'm just gonna put uh, you know you can figure out how many days from one point to another is oh, well I'm not gonna do it with a calculator but um, some months have 12 months some you know some months have excuse me 30 some 28 29 leap year you know all this stuff so this calculations work real nice another another kind of um, calculation that I, I like that I created is all this all this anybody can create but so for instance let's say that you have um, you measure a lot of things and you have five feet four inches uh, 10 feet 3 inches 2 feet and then the next one is 3 feet uh, 9 inches uh, 4 feet 7 inches so right now you're at 25 feet so if you put 25 here and 11 inches <clears throat> so that's that gives you 22 25.916 inches and let's say you want it to multiply or divide it so let's say you divide it by four that'll give you 3.66667 inches if you uh, divide it by two you're going to get 5.5 inches well not no excuse me one uh if you multiply it by four you're going to get 100 feet 3.6667 inches if you divide it by two you're going to get 12 feet 55 uh, inches so you know it's nice to have this kind of calculations because sometimes you have to measure and measure and measure and if you don't have the calculator I have a, cal a cool calculator here that does that but 
Um, not everybody has that app, so you can have this on your uh, computer. Thank you for watching my video. Again, my name is Hector Mendoza. Here's my email address. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please uh, say put like on it.